All right, we're now T-minus 20 seconds until liftoff of Starship Flight 6. Five, one. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Booster Raptor, chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship, avionics power and telemetry nominal. Alright, we're just a little over a minute into flight, dynamic pressure. we're about six miles away, so all the sound's still hitting us here, hearing good call-outs, that power telemetry nominal, that's flying straight and true. We do see all 33 Raptor engines lit up on telemetry screens. At this point, we've passed through that point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, that max Q. Now, coming up in just a little over a minute from now is going to be hot staging. So we're going to see the six engines on the ship ignite while still attached to the booster. Just before that, we'll see all but three center engines on the booster shut down. And what we call Miko, it's most engines cut off instead of main engine. Just about 30 seconds away from hot staging. And we heard, we heard the tower is go for catch. Booster engine cut off. The return flag is set for true. Ship engine start up. Stage separation. All right, hot staging confirmed. Booster six booster out of six booster. lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. We heard that we are go for catch. Kate, Jesse, take out the views. Hopefully I got a booster. Coming home real soon. Wow, from our view here, Dan, uh, great views of planet Earth behind that super heavy booster. Right now it is performing the Ship boost back burn. Phenomenal. Good news there, telling us that the, uh, the pressures inside the ship are good. That is the second stage or the upper portion of the vehicle. Follow along with the telemetry on the bottom of your screen. Yeah, booster is currently, super heavy is currently in its boost back burn, this boost back burn. Avionics power telemetry nominal. This boost back burn lasts just a little bit over a minute, so we've got a little, uh, approximately 30 seconds left. We've had shutdown of that boost back burn. Up next will be hot stage jettison. The view from the camera on the left, or from the booster on the left hand side of your screen, and then tracking cam there on the right hand side of your screen. We'll see those grid fins. Booster offshore divert. And we can also see that the uh, hot stage has been jettisoned. Yes, visual confirmation of that there on your screen, which is great. Now the next... Starship is following a nominal trajectory. The next step for booster is going into that landing burn. Again, it'll light up 13 of those engines and then uh, pair down to three engines right before booster catch. All right, now just real quick, we did hear the call out, uh, boost back, or excuse me, booster offshore divert. Unfortunately, that means that we are our no-go for the catch. Um, as we said before, both the tower and the vehicle, as well as the operators on console have been actively evaluating the commit criteria for that return to the launch tower. Um, and unfortunately, we did not have a pass on those commit criteria. So we are no-go for tower catch. 
And we did mention that we're constantly evaluating the criteria for catch. There's a lot of things that need to go well in order to line that up. Unfortunately, today we will forego booster catch today. But what you're seeing on your screen is ship uh, currently making its way towards the Indian Ocean, still looking good so far. Exactly. So views there of the booster on the left-hand side of your screen, views of the ship on the right-hand side of your screen. Now, we said before that it was not guaranteed that we would be able to make a uh, a tower catch today. So while we were hoping for it, like we said, it was pretty epic on attempt one, but uh, the safety of the teams and the public and uh, and, and the pad itself are uh, paramount. So we are accepting no compromises in any of those areas. Exactly, and we're still going to get a lot of good flight data with booster even, but especially with ship. Again, we have an additional objective today to do an in-space relight of a Raptor engine, which again will help us set us up for uh, being able to do deorbit burns, which is- Ship chamber pressure is phenomenal. Which, yep. which is important for orbital flights. And what you're seeing on your screen is a view from Super Heavy as it's making its way back down to Earth. Yeah, once again, we are attempting an offshore landing of the Super Heavy booster. Uh, so we have seen this before, uh, and it is still very fun to watch, <laughs> watching it come down uh, for a soft splashdown uh, off the Gulf Coast of Texas. We can see it there re-entering. Uh, we saw earlier those grid fins. There are four hypersonic grid fins. Or we can see that the landing burn has begun on the Super Heavy booster. And same pattern, 13 engines will light. Gone down to three, just as we expected. And what an incredible view of splashdown that we got today. Oh, Did super heavy. Yeah, I'm sure the buoy cam views <laughs> will be pretty awesome once again. So we'd like to confirm a water landing once again for the super heavy booster. Congrats to the SpaceX team uh, for making that milestone as well. Now, ship continues to look good. We can see uh, that it is, while all of that was happening, <laughs> the crowd here in Hawthorne uh, continuing to react to all these amazing views that we're getting. The next milestone is... Starship uh, is in terminal guidance. Great news there. Uh, uh, Starship terminal guidance, referring to what we see here on our screen, the upper stage, uh, at uh, about eight minutes, 35 seconds or so, we have ship engine cutoff, which will be the cutoff of the, uh, the, the Raptor engines. We can see on our screen ship giving us some incredible views brought to us by Starlink. Uh, this view is also very interesting because we can see basically the receding tile line that we referred to earlier, where we mentioned we have removed a number of heat shield tiles in order to test out and push the envelope on the ship and demonstrate what its capabilities are. Ship engine cut off. And there we just heard call out for Seco ship engine cutoff. Great news there. Everything continuing to look awesome for ship. Full view looking aft on ship here. Ship FTS is saved. Nominal orbit insertion. There's that call out we were waiting for. Confirmation of good orbital insertion for ship today. It has been a very exciting afternoon <laughs> so far. Uh, we'd like to send it back over to Dan, who can give us that uh, <laughs> live view experience. Dan, uh, once again, are you okay after witnessing <laughs> another Starship launch? Yeah, uh, totally fine. Uh, it's you guys have to be jealous. This is the only way to do this. This is fantastic. Uh, no, it was really cool to see a lift off. 33 out of 33. Uh, didn't go for the booster catch today. Initially, we were good, and then we tripped a, a commit criteria and did the offshore divert. So we went and did that water landing, as everybody saw. Uh, we'll dig into it a little bit more, uh, but 
again, this is, we've done it once, we've now done it twice, we're gonna keep trying to do it as this is just a core capability of Starship and what's gonna make it so incredible. Uh, there's a lot left. We're just about almost 10 minutes into this flight, uh, so about 50 plus minutes still to go. Ship, nominal orbit, so it's on its way around the planet. It's gonna attempt to do an in-space burn. We're gonna light one of those Raptor engines, the sea level ones in the middle, uh, just to help demonstrate that we can relight in that microgravity environment. Really critical for deorbit burns uh, as we start to do some orbital missions uh, in the not too distant future. Um, and then following that, we'll see a ship entry Maybe a splashdown. As you guys said, we're, we're really going to be pushing ship on this one. Uh, we're pretty much intentionally putting it in places where we expect it might not do so great. And all that's to try and help us learn, see if we were a little too conservative. And then maybe that opens up more capability for when we start catching them. But uh, I'll check back in with everybody in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to tune in and watch the ship fly around planet Earth. Uh, and hopefully we see it re-entering in the not too distant future. And Just heard the call out for startup. There's some light. There's that Raptor relit. And shut down. All right, there you have it. The first time ever lighting a Raptor while in outer space, other than our ascent burn. Um, so really cool to see that relit. That's, that's a pretty critical capability that we're going to need. Uh, when we're doing orbital missions in the not too distant future. The ship, as you can see, is beginning to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. As a reminder, one of the main goals of today's flight test is for the ship to make it through the extreme heat of re-entry and to do so in a controlled manner. Now, re-entry is typically a portion of flight where we don't have communication capability with the spacecraft because it's re-entering at or around orbital velocity, which is roughly eight kilometers per second or about five miles per second. Now at those speeds, yep, pretty fast, uh, <laughs> the spacecraft is moving through the atmosphere at rather quickly and that results in friction as we can see that starting to happen on our screen and this creates a plasma field around the vehicle. We're getting a lot clearer view of the Earth in the background with uh, the different temperatures that we're seeing with the different colors um, of that plasma around the ship, which is really, really cool to see. Again, um, we are pushing the limits of ship today, um, but so far everything is looking pretty nominal. Um, yeah. We'll see how the next few minutes goes. <laughs> yeah, like we've said before, don't be surprised if this is not entirely smooth sailing <laughs> all the way down to the ocean surface. Similar to Flight 5, we are targeting the same splashdown location in the Indian Ocean, but we are not expecting to recover the vehicle. <laughs> and there's that nose down orientation. Now the uh, Raptor engines will relight and help flip the booster back up. This is a more severe flip, given the orientation. Uh, the engines will shut down prior to the water making impact, prior to the vehicle making impact with the water. Our ship is doing great so far. There's, There's those engines okay. relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. All three down to two, into the water. Wow. And we have ship splashed down in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Some awesome buoy cam action here. Yes. Daylight news. Incredible. We really pushed the limits on ship and it made it all the way back down to Earth. 